Hello and welcome back to Creative Change Workshops. We're on week seven already and today we are going to be looking at the theme of my safe space. Now our home or our place of living is really important when it comes to our well-being. If you're living in a place that is like overly cluttered that can sometimes make you feel really stressed. I know that that's how I feel sometimes. So sometimes having a little spring clean, even of just a small area, can just make you feel so much better. That way you don't get overwhelmed by all of the other things that you have to do and you can just focus on one small area. So think about a place where you would like to relax in your home. Ideally not your bed, maybe in your living room, but somewhere where you can withdraw and be quiet and have a bit of alone time. Now your safe space might not actually be in your home. You might have a special place outdoors that you like to be. Maybe you go fishing, maybe you go for a regular walk. So I'm going to basically go down to my living room now and I'm going to sit and tidy up my little area by my sofa. And what I want to do is create a space where it's clean, it's tidy. Maybe it's got a candle um, and a nice book or something that I might want to read. I just want you to create a little haven and that literally could be just a metre squared or something. It doesn't have to be a huge amount of space where you can just sit down. You can just be mindful. You can breathe. You can just reflect and actually just have that little me time, a safe space for you. Now, once you've done that, and hopefully it shouldn't take you too long, if you want to get a pen and paper, I'd just like you to sketch your viewpoint from where you are sitting. Now, it's up to you where, you know, whether you want to look at other areas of the room that might be slightly more stressful. Maybe don't do that. You might want to be looking out of a window. But just sit back and maybe create like a little viewfinder. Sometimes I actually cut up a piece of cardboard and I will actually stick it in position so that I only draw what is in the box. Now, that is something that you could do, but you don't have to. So I'm going to do a bit of tidying. And then I'm going to sit down and just simply relax and do some sketching. Your drawings don't have to be amazing. You don't have to use all of the techniques that we've taught you. You just need to enjoy the process. And if it looks very random and not very accurate, do not worry. Just be present in the moment. Enjoy the feeling of making marks on the paper and just having that time to reflect and be and do something just for you. As you can see, my actual living room is quite different from the one that you saw on the live stream. I do love that backdrop with my green screen effects, but my reality is quite different. But I'm very grateful what I have. Um, you can probably see I've got quite a few little blankets and pillows that have been made out of um, some of my kids' old clothes, which I quite like, and they're quite a home comfort for me. So I'll sit here watching the telly with my blanket all cuddled up. So this is my safe space and I'm, I'm giving you a quick tour really. I'll have a little look around. So this is the view and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little still life piece of this cheese plant over here. I'm going to record it on a hyperlapse so you will see me drawing it very quickly so you don't have to wait around. But it's just about finding your safe space, creating a little bit of peace. I've got a candle that I might light and just sitting back and sketching. So I've got my pencil case ready to go. If you want, you can do painting. If you want, you can do pastels, whatever you like. But it's just about being at peace in a place where you feel home comfort and just enjoying sketching and appreciating and being present kind of mindfulness I guess. So let's go.
So as you can see, I've got the basic form here and I've done a bit of shading. It's entirely up to you how much detail you want to go into. Um, if you look at the back of this, I had a collage of, um, it was a vision board that I did in 2020, but I didn't want that to be the main focus of the piece. So I've very loosely kind of scribbled and put a few words there. Um, I really wanted to highlight the candle because candles for me are a real kind of sign of hope and light and warmth. So what I did was I actually used a rubber and after I'd done all the shading, I used the rubber to pick out highlights. I've also used that on the leaves just to kind of, if I've done two thicker layers of shading, just using a rubber, you can just lightly pick out where the light is catching it. And it's quite effective. So I'm gonna leave it as this for now, but um, good luck and I can't wait to see what you make. I'd love to see your work. Please can you email in to info at hannaharia.com and we'll be able to show your work on our live streams next week. Enjoy creating.